You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Concerning the issues of life, liberty, and justice, and their impact on individuals, culture, society in America, and around the world, this is The Truth Spoken in Love with your host, Myra Jean. Myra will discuss heartfelt topics facing our nation and our world today, as only Myra can. So please welcome the host of The Truth Spoken in Love, Myra Jean. You are listening to The Truth Spoken in Love, in love for you. I'm your host, Myra Jean, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Uh, I want to recommend, first of all, if you were not here last week, to go to um, boldbravemedia.com forward slash shows forward slash the dash truth dash Spoken dash in dash love forward slash for the truth about the need to protect uh, Americans' rights and liberty. It is a good show, and I recommend you go there if you missed it. Okay, today uh, the show is called Your Freedom. And America's. Last week, I concentrated uh, somewhat on the Second Amendment, for it does protect Americans' lives and our nation from tyranny. The Second Amendment enables American citizens the right to bear arms so that they can come to the aid of those who are in danger of uh, criminal activity. We need to keep our U.S. Constitution in order to keep our rights and liberty as individuals and as a nation, a sovereign nation, to protect our nation from tyranny, as has happened to Venezuela when they did not have the Second Amendment and Chavez and since others have taken control and, and put Venezuela, who once was a strong democracy and the one of the and maybe the strongest country economically and with freedom in South America Central America today we have an issue a big issue that we would not want to see America be going through if socialistic communism should gain control as it did in Venezuela and now the actually uh, it was a little nation Hong Kong of 7 million people who were self-governing who had their own legislature and courts. But under a contract with Great Britain and China, they are now being uh, forced to be more and more under China's communistic control. 
I don't think you want to see America one day having to resist the socialistic, communistic dictatorship here. For America to remain land of the free and home of the brave, you and I need, as individuals need, to have freedom. Freedom for our hearts, our minds, our wills. You need to be free from lies, deception. From the beginning, there were the lies and the deception that deceived mankind and brought man into subjection under sin, death. This has brought to every human born a lack of freedom. For if you take God at his word, as he is the only one who understands, knows truth, as Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Ephesians 6, 12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Go to Ephesians chapter 2. We each and every one come into the world under this darkness. And the only way we can become free is through Jesus the Christ, the Lord God and Savior, the only Lord God and Savior, Son of the living God, through His Holy Spirit, can set us free. Ephesians chapter 2 And you in Christ he has quickened for you were dead in trespasses and sins and if you are without Jesus you are still spiritually dead separated from God in trespasses and sins. In Christ in time past in time past you once walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience when we took our first breath we were under the influence of the prince of the power of the air, Satan. For mankind, through the disobedience of Adam and Eve in the garden, mankind fell. Our human nature fell. And we were no longer as we, as man was created to be, good, only good. For with the failure of Adam and Eve to listen to God and to respond to God's love for them, to rely and trust Him, instead they listened to the enemy of mankind, Satan the devil. We will be taking a short break. Stay tuned. Be right back.
Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBM Global Network. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current and concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. You are listening to The Truth Spoken in Love, in love for you, by the one and only true Almighty God, who became flesh, the Lord Jesus Christ, so that he could restore the freedom that God intended for you through restoring to you the fullness of life by his Holy Spirit that was lost in the beginning, through sin and death, separation from God. The battle for your life, the battle for your freedom, was won at the cross. The fight for your life, your soul, begins at birth and goes on till you are set free through receiving Jesus the Christ, their Creator, Lord God and Savior, as your own Lord God and Savior. To as many as receive him, Jesus gives the right, the power to become children of God by the Holy Spirit of God. As Ephesians 2 sums it, as though we were once by nature the children of wrath as others, God who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loves us, even when we were dead in sins, his desire is to quicken us together with Christ By his grace, his mercy, we are saved through Christ as Lord God and Savior. The living God raises up us and makes us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. In Christ, we are new creatures. We are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. 
Remember that you, being in time past, in the flesh, were separated from God. At that time, you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth, the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But in Christ, you who were sometimes far off are made near by the blood of Christ. In him is our peace who makes us together children of the living God. His great desire is that we be reconciled unto him in one body by the cross for he slew our enemy so that we can have the victory that we can be free from sin, death, hell and the grave for through Christ we have access by his Holy Spirit unto the Father. We become ambassadors for Christ to share the love and life of God that Jesus gives. There is no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus who are now restored in a right relationship reconciled to God Almighty for life, joy, peace, now and forever, freedom from sin, death, hell, and the grave. I pray that you pray, Lord Jesus, forgive me for going my own way I want your will, I need you, and I want you, Jesus, as my own personal Lord God and Savior, to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me from unrighteousness, deliver me from all evil, and heal my heart and mind to know the truth and to think what is true and honest and just and pure and lovely of virtue and praise. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. And I choose to receive your love, your life, through you, Jesus, as my own Lord God and Savior. In this world, you will have trouble, but Jesus says, take courage, I have overcome the world, and in him we overcome. In this world that is under the rule of the principality of the air, there is much evil. And we need to totally rely on Jesus and trust him in all circumstances and situations and ask for him to grant us his understanding, his knowledge, his perception and wisdom for his way to be our way, for his Holy Spirit to be in control of our hearts and minds and will so that we live, live in freedom from the world and it's the influence of Satan, the principality of the air. We will be taking a short break. Stay tuned. Be right back.
If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations. Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomenon while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. You are listening to The Truth Spoken in Love, in love for you. I'm your host, Myra Jean, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. When we once were without Christ, and it was our sin nature that was in control, While we may have tried to be good, at times we failed, and we did not, could not, even do the good that we even uh, wanted to. We have an assault on America, an assault on Americans, an assault on us for There is a lot of deception, a lot of lies in our society, many of them stemming from an ideology called socialistic communism, which tries to say that uh, you can get something for nothing. Everything costs someone something. Socialism robs people of their freedom as socialistic communism takes over control of a country's governing. I really do not think you want to lose the rights and liberty you have living in America. We have our U.S. Constitution, which was given to us now to protect us, our rights and freedom. 243 years. We need to remember that our rights need to be Respected, protected, or we will lose them. Our First Amendment right, freedom of speech, freedom to worship, freedom to assemble, freedom to address grievances that may come, 
are protected by the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. The right be ar to bear arms protects Americans, equips Americans to be able to stop crime, to end harm that might come. The right to bear arms is essential to keep America from tyranny, as with has happened in countries that have decided to be under a socialistic communist government. We need to realize and keep our Bill of Rights. There have been talk of red flag laws, and these red flag laws damage our freedom and our ability to be able to protect ourselves, our families, our community, even our country. The red flag laws violate Amendment 1, for they encourage police-led searching of our social media, thus effectively abridging the freedom of speech or the press constitutionally protected in the First Amendment. Disagreeable speech is labeled hate speech, thus potentially violent speech, thus subject to the removal of one's weapons. Liberty ends when free speech, press, assembly, and religion end. The, our amendment, our second amendment, this amendment was specifically designed to protect the First Amendment, giving the people the ability to resist tyrannical government, as the founders had, even by revolution, required. Any law, state or federal, which threatens the Second Amendment, as written by the Founding Fathers, is unconstitutional. In New Mexico, that includes requirements for firearms storage and background checks for private firearm sales. In New York, it includes banning bump stock devices. In Washington State, other semi-automatic rifles commonly owned for recreation and self-defense as assault weapons and prohibits young adults under the age of 21 from purchasing them. These violate the right of the people to keep and bear arms that shall not be infringed. But red flag laws go further, potentially allowing thousands of innocent citizens to be punished only upon the fear a crime might be committed. Secret lists of innocent people are created by family, acquaintances, and potentially disgruntled ex-lovers or spouses. Anyone that can approach a judge with the claim someone is a danger to himself and or others, the sheriff is sent to disarm and confiscate his weapons. Those identified are punished without having committed a crime. All this without a shred of evidence un of unlawful behavior. Our Amendment 4 reads, in part, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable search and seizure shall not be violated. Today, computers and electronic devices are our papers and effects include our weapons of self-preservation. It is unreasonable and unconstitutional to confiscate them on the assumption that they may be used inappropriately. We will be taking a short break. Stay tuned. Be right back. 
WikiWags brings harmony back into your home for male dogs and their owners. Inventor and entrepreneur Linda Jangula has created the disposable doggy diaper wraps made with the male dog in mind. The built-in wicking ability prevents rashing and other potential health issues for your dog. Each wrap comes in four sizes and has dual reattachable magic tabs for easy adjustments. And each size has a 7-inch logo strip for adjustability. So they are comfortable and easy to use. No more fuss, just leave the mess to us. Whether you're in or out, your dog will be free to run about. Stop cleaning and start enjoying your home, and you can even leave your dog alone. To order your WikiWags, visit WikiWags.com. Or to find out where to buy WikiWags in your town, visit MyWikiWags.com and start enjoying having man's best friend around. battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Wait No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Wait No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Wait No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Wait No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. You are listening to the truth spoken in love, in love for you, for your life, for your freedom. I'm your host, Myra Jean, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. How about we make the assumption, how about we also wish to remove automobiles, knives, hammers, or medicines they might use to harm themselves or others? Continuing... No warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, as stated in Amendment 4. Theretofore, probable cause was based upon evidence of having actually done something, not opinion that someone might do something. Again, there exists no crime. A warrant alone is not due process. Quoting Amendment 4, supported by oath or affirmation means by government agents who have sworn allegiance to protect and preserve the Constitution, which under red flag laws this action violates. An Amendment 5 reads in part, no person shall be deprived of property without due process of law. Due process is denied thousands under red flag laws. None were charged with a crime, arrested or convicted before gun confiscation. Without due process, all of our rights and properties are unsecured. It's that simple. Under Amendment 6, lists the rights of the accused, the due process procedure entitled to all citizens in all criminal prosecutions. Quote, although red flag laws are not criminal prosecutions, they have the same effect. They accuse and administer punishment. They are speedy, but not public as constitutionally required. None were, quote, informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, confronted with the witnesses against him, allowed compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and allowed the assistance of counsel for his defense. 
Where was the impartial jury? None of these, there were four constantly, constitutionally required conditions were met prior to confiscation, as no crime had been committed. Those targeted by the government in red flag laws had no opportunity to resist confiscation. Under Amendment 7, it reads, In suits at common law where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. This was quoting Amendment 7. Twice attended in common law, which is the underlying principle of justice that governs all human relationships, natural law, which fully, whether fully understood or not. Amendment 7 speaks to property exceeding $20 in value, of which all guns exceed. Although largely fallen into disuse because of the now unrealistic money requirements specified, the amendment suggests the importance of common law and jury peers, trials, rather than judges making the decisions regarding property. Certainly red flag laws exempt juries and confiscate property. Six of the ten Bill of Rights amendments are severely damaged by red flag laws with due process, the backbone of our judicial system. The greatest fatality. This is certainly the greatest threat to the Bill of Rights since the Obama-sponsored National Defense Authorization Act of 2012, which already effectively neutralized Amendments 4, 5, 6, and 8 of the Bill of Rights. Defending our lives, our rights, and freedoms based on our U.S. Constitution with its Bill of Rights intended to keep Americans free. Free with their rights and liberties and free from tyranny. Last week I mentioned a young student. He was only uh, a sophomore in high school, but he realized the truth that limiting gun rights would not stop those who would persist in creating crime. But having citizens armed would, such as having the teachers and the administration of schools who were willing to be armed to protect the students. Gun-free zones only invite criminals to take advantage where there would be no defense. Let us not lose the right to protect ourselves, our family, others, our state and country from those who would as intent to commit crimes would be able, black market or any other means, get the weapons Let us not leave us, American citizens, without 
the ability, the being equipped to protect our lives and our country from tyranny. We will take a short break. Stay tuned. Be right back. Psychologist, master certified coach, and CEO of the executive and organizational development firm True North Leadership, Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. He is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents, and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy, and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. You are listening to The Truth Spoken in Love, in love for you, in love for your life and your freedom. I'm your host, Myra Jean, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I've come across uh, some articles. You can find this um, on Assault on America. You can Google search. Yes. He, on day 240, here's the question. Which would save more lives, new gun laws or banning abortion? You may have heard of a young man who has, I would say, lack of wisdom, does not have the understanding of the need in order to protect lives, we need the ability the, to be equipped to be able to do so, to stop crime. This young man, David Hogg, I will do some quotes from him. He says, if we can save one life with law X, it would be worth it. He said, "Um, in the abstract, it makes sense to pass laws bent on protecting lives, property, and the pursuit of happiness. He didn't say that. This is wisdom. Thomas Jefferson wrote, about these sacred principles in the Declaration of Independence. All those years ago, and now among us those who cite his famous words when working to roll back otherwise rights. Saying they want to save future victims from harm. But when you leave people defenseless, they are only then in harm's way. Gun control immediately comes to mind in this scenario 
every time there is a shooting perpetuated by a manifesto subscribing not on the fringe of humanity, some rush to the nearest microphone or camera to lecture conservatives as to how valuable it would be to act immediately or sooner and preserve at least a single life from extinction. How can we save a life from someone perpetrating a crime if we are ourselves defenseless? This uh, anti-gun rights advocate, David Hogg, said another stupid thing to further his mission, which of course earned him prominent mention in establishment news circles. He said he wanted to support, he said if he was killed, he wanted his dead body to be delivered to the National Rifle Association's front door if he is ever fatally shot. Uh, The commenter of this article compared this to the loss of life through abortion. What about we take the destroyed lives of the unborn and to put them on the doorstep of the abortion facilities. There, every day, there are about 3,000 American lives taken by abortion. And because Americans who have the right to bear arms save lives, without our right to bear arms, we would be in a situation where we would be the victims of a crime by someone. I can't stress enough that we need to keep our U.S. Constitution and our Bill of Rights in order to maintain our individual rights and liberty. And I cannot stress enough that even if you should gain the whole world but lose your soul, what could you give? There's no price you could pay for your soul's were created for eternity. And it is only the maker, creator of heaven and earth who created you in your mother's womb, who has the right, the power to restore to you the life that was lost in the beginning when Adam and Eve fell to the lies, to the deception of Satan, the devil who said, if you ignore God, if you don't listen to God, you will not die. But in the day that they failed to rely on God's love for them and to listen to his wisdom, they did die spiritually. The soul without the Holy Spirit now, spiritually dead in trespass and sin. And if we remain in this condition for eternity, separated from God who is love and loves you, Choose you this day who you will serve. Choose Jesus and live. We will be taking a short break, 
Stay tuned. Be right back. French Rastafarian baker Chef Hugues Mott is a fourth-generation baker and has worked in 11 countries across three continents. Born in Mulhouse, France, he began apprenticing in his father's bakery at age 12 and has devoted his life to learning cultures of the world from inside kitchens across the globe. He also teaches traditional French baking by hosting demonstrations and classes, and his passion for baking is reflected in his delicious confections. With a deep respect for discipline and his Rastafarian way of life, Sheikh Uvmat exemplifies commitment to tradition and culture in a global world. Traveling extensively and combining a myriad of flavors into his recipes, Chef Ugmat brings a unique approach to baking. To read more about the French Rastafarian baker, visit www.frenchchefug.com. That's H-U-G-U-E-S. Bon appétit and bless up. Unleash the obstacles that bind you with certified professional coach Joanne Charette, a master practitioner in energy leadership. Joanne can help you break through personal and professional barriers and guide you to a higher level of empowerment and fulfillment. Passionate and dedicated, Joanne engages with her clients on a mutual journey. Her dynamic energy will motivate you to move forward as you partner on a venture to greater results. Isn't it time to make a breakthrough and commit to live the life you deserve? Invest in yourself and let Joanne Charette be the catalyst to the real realization of your dreams by making them a reality. Based in Quebec, Canada, Joanne is also a space coach using social media and Skype to work with anyone anywhere around the world. Contact Joanne Charette today at 819-360-3266 or email her at actionrealization at live.ca. 819-360-3266. Now is your time. When my single parents, at the time I was conceived, for two months they were singles, a 19-year-old woman and a 20-year-old man, they knew the truth. Life begins with the union of the woman's egg and the man's sperm at conception. They did not have then even the rhetoric to deceive them. There were no lies of when life begins. Pregnant was to be with child. Pregnant is to be with child. But between that time and 1973, when the pro-abortion industry spewed its lies and convinced enough people, including the U.S. Supreme Court, that we don't know when life begins. Deception. I already concede five other children and I had lost my third child to premature birth but I failed to realize the loss and to appreciate the life that had been there so I listened to the fact that the Supreme Court had passed Roe v. Wade. Passed? No, not passed. Ruled. Wrongly ruled. And I became guilty for the murder of my sixth child. In the United States, about 62 million Americans in the womb have been murdered wounding, devastating mothers, fathers, families. Our country, with the loss of their American citizens, not here to serve in our military, to protect our country, to protect our freedoms, not here 
to be productive workers, not here. If you have been wounded by the lie, the deception of the abortion industry, we have an international helpline 24-7, the number 1-866-482-5433 to talk with somebody who has been through this tragedy, understands and is able to help you. 1-866-482-5433 You can also join with others and prepare to be a witness. On paper, it's called a declaration of testimony. If you should want to participate and help legislators and even those defending states' life laws, you can find a declaration of testimony at operationoutcry.org. That is operationoutcry.org. If you as an American citizen want to see the killing of Americans in the womb, there is a petition to the U.S. Supreme Court that you can sign. You can find this petition at themoraloutcry.com, themoraloutcry.com. Let us end... 46 years of the murder of Americans in the womb. TheMoralOutcry.com Make a difference. Save lives. This has been The Truth Spoken in Love with your host, Myra Jean. The Truth versus the Deception. Tune in each week for the answers on Myra Jean's The Truth Spoken in Love. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.